Hey guys, it's Katie at scrappinkatie.ctmh.com and I am joining some other close to my heart sisters today and we are going to show you how to take usual products and use them in unusual ways. So here's a look at my layout. I'll explain what's kind of unusual about it here in just a second. It is documenting my son's first phone, which he begged for for forever, but he finally got. So the way this layout came about is I am using a Cricut cartridge from Close to My Heart that is only card fronts. And so there is this particular card, this one right here, that I'm about to insert into my project. And so I'm going to use that card for an actual layout by um, contouring and ungrouping images and then putting it um, on a 12 by 12 page. So I've inserted that card into... Um, my mat and now I'm going to ungroup the images so I can start getting rid of the score lines as well as some of the cuts and other things that are included in that cut. So um, this card as well as the other cards that come with the artfully sent cartridge when you choose a card to make if you were going to make a card everything is done for you score lines sizing everything so since I'm using it for a layout some of those things I do not want and I'm just using my app on my tablet to kind of make it more layout friendly. So I have all those images ungrouped. I am inserting just a basic shape and this is going to be my layout base. I'm going to resize that to 12 by 12 because that is how I usually scrapbook. Not always, but this particular layout is a 12 by 12 layout. And then I'm going to move it to the back so I can see those word bubbles on top. Uh, these, I'm just deleting, these are um, images I was playing with earlier to make sure everything would work. And then I'm going to recolor that background to white. Um, Cricut does have a feature where you can change the mat to a scrapbook page. I just find that inserting a square and resizing it that way is a lot easier. So right here, I'm just going to start playing with these images um, making sure they're the right size. I know that I only have one photo of this event, so I need to make sure that I have just enough, um, a large size for a four by six photo. So I've inserted another basic shape and I'm resizing it to four and a quarter by six and a quarter, and that will serve as my photo mat. So right here, I'm just going to kind of duplicate some images, um, contour, just so I can have a plain bubble. I'm going to flip it the other way. I'm going to stretch it. Just kind of play with the images and make sure that I don't have a lot of repetitive shapes. Um, I really want oversized images for this layout and just a couple um, sizes. So right here, I am ready to cut. Again, um, I've shown under or in previous videos how I group smaller images onto one um, mat and it makes it a whole lot easier just to feed that one mat through my Cricut. So all I do is I scroll and I find the image I want, click on it, click on the three dots, click move object, then select the mat I want it on and then drag it to opposite corners. And that makes it easier for me to lay out the different colored papers I'm going to use. Again, that uh, uh, I can't think of my shapes. That rectangle right there was just for sizing purposes, so I won't actually be cutting that. So right here, I'm going to hit make and then get my Cricut mat ready with the different color car uh, card stocks. So as you can see on the mat on my tablet, I have those in different corners and I've done the same with the different colored card stocks and I've gone ahead and cut those on my Cricut. Now I'm going to cut my layout base, which I'm going to put a 12 by 12 down. It's going to actually cut a, an 11 and a half inch uh, square. And then it's easier on large pieces if you turn it over and peel the Cricut mat from the paper. And that way it won't curl. So the next couple of minutes is really going to be a lot of just playing with these shapes, seeing where I want them. Um, I don't want them all um, just the color and the white background. So I'm kind of kind of play with colors and see what colors I want to pop up for those letters or those sentiments behind there. I'm also going to play with placement. Um, I knew that I wanted that photo down in that bottom right, but as far as the word bubbles, I did not know where those were gonna go. 
I am going to pull out the new classic alphabet thin cuts from close to my heart and I'm going to cut um, a W, a Y, and a D for what you're doing, which is, um, I guess, um, text lingo um, for this age group. So I wanted to include that. I think this is this layout's going to be extremely fun for him to look back on when he's an adult and not only remember his first phone, but kind of remember um, what texting uh, was like. Um, I'm hoping that as he gets older, like my other sons, um, maybe their um, vocabulary will get a little more extensive, if you know what I mean. And so right here, I'm just going to start adhering things down. Uh, this was a major boo-boo. I um, adhered it on the top instead of the back of the bubble. So I'm just going to rub that adhesive off with my finger and then get it going the right way. These colors are from the Oh My Heart collection, which might still be available um, on my website. If not, you can use anything you have on hand. I'm now taking um, our black shimmer brush and adding some um, paint splatters to the layout. I just, I love white space, but on this particular one, I just kind of wanted something extra. So the easiest thing to do is squeeze that on a block and then lift that color up with the shimmer brush and then kind of flick it. And then now I'm going to kind of adhere everything down. <clears throat> Pardon me. Still playing with that W and that Y and that D. I really don't know where I want it. I thought I wanted it up top, but that's a little much, it's a little too much blue up there. So um, until I make that decision, I'm going to go ahead and map my photo on that candy apple cardstock. And um, decided that with that photo placement, I needed some more paint splatter. I usually don't remove um, any of uh, my elements while I lay out. And normally it works. On that W, I did get some paint splatter on there. So um, I thought about recutting it. And then I thought, no, it's just going to have to work. So I think I'm pretty happy with what I've got so far. And so um, I believe now I'm going to start adhering everything down. Um, I'm just using liquid Tombow adhesive to adhere the W, the Y, and the D, and then pulling out my T ruler to make sure that it is somewhat straight. The thing about letters is you either need to make sure they're really straight or the opposite is to make sure they're purposely crooked, if you know what I mean. That way there's no question um, but this one, I really liked the straight lines, even though the messiness of the layout with the paint splatter and the oversized word bubbles, I really wanted the straight line on the sentiments. So I've glued that down and then um, quickly realized another boo-boo that I made, but it's easily fixable. I realized that I did not back that hay there with the lemonade cardstock. So I'm just using my Cricut scraper and it's real easy to get in there and lift that up and slide that yellow piece of cardstock underneath there. And I'll show you or I'll tell you here in just a second why I did the lemonade and didn't leave it black. I'm going to add some dimension by using some 3D foam tape on that on that uh, word bubble. I would try to say it, but um probably would sound like a 40 year old mother trying to act cool so I won't and then I'm using my white gel pen to kind of line some of those word bubbles and then I'm going to pull out um, I believe right here I'm going to pull out my journaling pen and add some journaling around the edge after I adhere this on there when I adhere my photo mats I usually leave some spaces around the edge in case I want to tuck anything into um, the photo kind of behind the photo and then right here I'm taking my journaling pen and just adding um, a hand-drawn line all the way around and then I'm going to add my journaling line. So instead of using my T-ruler, here is another tip for you. I want to start my line an inch from the bottom. So I lined my paper up and then I just use that steel bar and then make lines. I'm making them every quarter inch of a part. So after the line I drew, I move it a quarter of an inch over and I just kind of eyeball it. And then those lines are done and fairly straight. You could also make them with pencil and erase, but on this one, I did want my journaling lines to show. Right here, to bring over the white gel pen, I am just um, doing some corner doodling on that black cardstock in the back.
And so now I decided to pull in some more of the Oh My Heart um, items only because I have a lot. And so again, this is a way to use up some of your stash. Um, oh My Heart is predominantly Valentine, as you can see on the sticker sheet, but I am pulling some images that can be everyday images. So we've got some hearts. We've got that old rotary phone. Um, I'm going to pull one of the... Um, uh, word bubbles here in just a second and use it up at the top. It just simply says love. This one is oh my, which, you know, um, it would have been wonderful if I had a G so I could do OMG, but I didn't. So oh my will still work and it could work for different things. It could be oh my, my son finally has a phone or oh my, um, in texting world. And then right here, I'm going to pull this little thing that says cutie pie. And um, everyone's child is a cutie pie. So that's very versatile. It doesn't have to be Valentine's. So I'm going to play with the placement of that and still look on the stickers and see if there's anything else I can pull. I find an extra yellow heart. And again, um, on the colors, I'm mainly doing triangles. So I've got a lot of triangles going on here. The blue, I've got the blue in the salesman shirt, the bubble in the WYD, the yellow, I've got multiple triangles, the pink, I've got the phone, the oh my, and the love. And right here above that photo, it just needed something extra. So I'm pulling out a zip strip from one of the papers and I'm going to adhere it down. I decided to tear it. Um, just to make it number one a little shorter and number two just kind of rough around the edges to match the paint splatters and that is my layout using a card Cricut cartridge for a layout as well as some Valentine stickers for an everyday occasion if you have any questions please leave a comment and as always subscribe and sign up for notifications don't forget to head over to the other Close to My Heart consultants who are participating. You will head back to Katie Weeks's YouTube channel and I will link that below.